this is kind of a sad video, but I don't know how many of you are aware of all the crazy things that go on on YouTube and the political culture war that's been going on, but it will affect everybody. Um, since I'm not monetized, it's not going to affect me in that way, and like I said, it may not even affect this channel at all. But I do have another political channel that it could affect, and plus, also, since I have principles, I don't like supporting platforms that, you know, don't believe in free speech and don't go by American values and American laws. So these tech giants, I said I left, I left Twitter two years ago, I left Facebook a few months ago, and I really didn't want, didn't want to lose, don't really want to leave YouTube completely. But um, there, there needs to be some changes. I mean, we need to start migrating to alt platforms, you know, because I'm sure you've heard, I mean, and I'm sure many of you creators who are not even politically engaged are going to take hits and be demonetized just because YouTube doesn't have any rules. They're, they're going to say they're going to combat you know, hate and fake news, but really they are the hate and they are the fake news. So basically the rules are anything that is center left is going to get banned or demonetized at the very least. So, like I said, this is so it's a time of transition for creators. It's a time of social and political change. Um, like I said, I don't, I won't leave YouTube completely, but there's, I think I'm going to start to migrate my content to other platforms. Because like I said, I don't think they're going to ban this channel. I'm already demonetized, so they can't do anything there. So, uh, that's the main thing I can say, because I, I, I'm principled, I don't want to support a platform that's going to go anti-American on me, because you have to preserve free speech and freedom and all that. So basically what I'll end up doing is probably just cutting way back on YouTube and doing the bulk of my content on other platforms that are better, I hope. And ultimately, I'm going to have to have backups and you know, probably produce DVDs and stuff because ultimately I think what this has taught us is that we should not trust any platform too much. Not trust any because lots of them eventually can get corrupted and that will hurt us, the creators. So, so yes. So this is not a happy day. And if you look it up, but if you, I don't know if you've been hit by the ad apocalypse again, if you look up everybody getting slammed, getting deleted, getting banned, it's happening again and again. It happens every so often, so it's, I just really disagree with YouTube's policies and YouTube's terms of service, because their terms of service are insane. They are just, we ban whoever we don't like. That's bottom line, that's it. And that's not, this is not a safe place for creators, and this is not a place that we should want to be when we can be treated like that. There are no standards, there is just prejudice, there's just bias, there's just fake news, and there's, there are no rules. There are no rules, and just whoever they want to ban, they will ban. And this is not an atmosphere for creativity or anything. So, just giving you a heads up what's going on. If you want to look up what's going on, check out what Tim Pool and... Steven Crowder, there's lots of, like I said, conservatives being banned on their videos on the topics. So, so I'm just giving you a heads up in case, like I said, I don't think my channel is going to disappear, but I don't like supporting totalitarians. So I'm going to try to work on a plan to work myself away to some extent. But So these are just things that had to be said because... YouTube is the platform and YouTube is going crazy. So, people get corrupted, so what can we do? What can we say? We just gotta keep on going on and trying to find other ways to continue our work. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Let freedom ring.